What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different video, as in, by a little bit different, something we do about three times a week, and that is, uh, we are going to be showing one of the most underrated players in my team. So lads, I've been just kind of messing, I thought this guy was going to be like 30k. I thought he's going to be 30k, I paid 12k. I paid literally, literally 12k for this guy. But before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit just a 275k. We're definitely not going to hit it by the new game, by NBA 2K22. But you know what? We might as we might as well have a goal. We're definitely not going to hit the goal, but that's just you know what? 265, 265k is a it's that's a doable goal. That's a goal we're probably not going to hit, but it's doable. But um, anyway, so. The card is this guy right here. It's Joe Caldwell. So this guy is... I don't know how he fell on... He slipped through the cracks and no one's been talking about this guy. Because we all knew when he came out that he was going to be good. Like... 11.5k. Let's just say for argument purposes... Look, 11.5k, 10k, same thing. Let's just say for argument purposes it's 10k. It's a little bit over 10k. Even still, like this guy is ridiculous ridiculous for that price so you've got 99 offense defense overall 6-5 can play to 1 42 hops like range extender showtime he's got quick first step stop and go I mean, he's got everything only eight golds a little bit of a problem but i mean if you're looking at the badges that he doesn't have and blindness connection, yeah, flexible's good. Green Machine's good. That's really it, to be honest. Well, Green Machine, Dead Eye, Flexible. He's missed a couple of badges. But he's got 98 mid and 88 three ball. That 88 three ball goes up to 92 if you have a hot floor general player on the floor with him. And it also goes to 95 if you have a Vogel. But 98 driving duck, 86 ball handle. Look at those defense stats. They're really nice. Really, like, insanely good speed to ball and acceleration. And great lateral quickness of 94. And then, like, defense and tendencies really don't matter that much. It's all about the animations. I mean, his tendencies are good. We've, we've learned this year that it's more animations than tendencies because this year so many guys have got elite tendencies. But if you look at Joe Caldwell right here, again, hot zones everywhere on the floor. And the biggest thing about this guy, base 98. It is one of the better releases in the game on next gen. I'm still not going to say 98 is the best release on next gen. It's because it's not even close. Like Ray Allen, Exum are better releases. Base 5 is better than 98 on next gen. Um, but 98 is such a good release on current gen. Like it's probably the best. It is not probably. It's the best release in the game on current gen. So this guy right here. If you're looking for that 3 hunting point guy. Basically if you're looking for Tom Van Ardell. And you haven't gotten Tom Van Ardell. This guy is a great alternative. He's like 80% of Van Ardell. Except he's a, a pretty much 10k card. You can get him in an hour. And he's like 80, 90. Or not even 90%. He's 95% of Tom Van Aardel. There are very, very little bit little differences. Obviously, um, Richard Van Aardel has got blinders. So he's a little bit different to him. But like him versus Tom Van Aardel, they're so similar cards. And again, this guy is as good as his card last year. And we all remember how good, how much people liked him last year. So if you're a three hunter and you're like a pro-am... If you're a pro-am guard and you are on current gen, I mean, you are going to love this Joe Caldwell card. He's going to be, and he's really good on next gen as well. His dunking is insanely good on next gen. So he is one of, for me, one of those super, super underrated players that he's kind of just slipped through the cracks when people are talking about the best cards in the game. So yeah, for me, or sign up best cards. For me, um, he's absolutely elite. I'm struggling with this release because, again, I'm not the greatest with 98 on this gen. Like, I've struggled with Tom Van Aardale. Um, I don't have Richard yet, but I will get him. I have him on a board. I just need to get to the top boards again. I've done the board glitch, so I should be okay. But I'm telling you, once you can get used to... If you can get used to his release, or if you're on current gen with how he chicken he is, he's quality. Pro one behind the back. Good crossover. Obviously, he gets to showtime dunks. Which is big for current gen. Obviously, that doesn't really mean anything at all on next gen. Being able to get showtime dunks. If anything, you don't. You would rather get safe dunks. The Hall of Fame poster is still pretty good. 
But yeah, um, Joe Caldwell is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Like that behind the back is fine. Yes, it's not Pro 3, but I mean, look, it's Pro 1, it's fine. You can still glitch by people's feet. It's one of the more underrated behind the backs in the game. You can get some really nice animations out of it. And he has a really nice step back as well. So if you are on next gen with the Circus 3's badge, he actually gets a pretty good step back. So if you can get that timing right, especially going to the left, and he's going to be completely, completely fine. So um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, now let's uh, green one three, and now let's get on to the game. So yeah, this guy, like I complete his XP. And I also have to say, like, the dude gets 4,000 XP for, like, three, like, three and a bit games. Like, four games. You can get this in 20 minutes and gets 4,000 XP. I'm just waiting. I'll probably get the Eric Gordon and the Mark L. Holtz one. Those ones are not too bad, I don't think. I'll get to two of them. The fact is, I'll be on, like, 80-ish thousand XP. I'll be on, like, 90,000 at the end of this week. I I'll be on track to get... Like, this time next week, get Luca. So, I'm not... I'm not too upset at all about that one. So. Definitely, I withdrew you, Banks. Um, the Russell. And screw it. Let's go... Let's go, Cliff. I found out that for defense, you don't want Giants. You do not want Giants for defense. Like 6'10", Bill Russell is probably like the peak height you want for defense. Because the taller players move really slow without the ball. So if, if they're running a minute ball, and I'm running like my um, ball ball, it's literally going to be a case of um, them running around ball ball the whole game. Okay, he's got Jordan. Lamarcus Aldridge. Alright, this is a this is a nothing game. Is that Precious a Chua point guard? Curry. There we go. Green. We smoked it. Two in a row. Wow, that's not good. Uh, and he's definitely playing meter on. He's definitely a meter on player. Because he has just left me wide open here. Oh yeah. Green. There we go. About time we green. One of three. Fair, we got that timing right anyway. It's the first time using them online. Good defense. Okay, we're good. It's open. And that's another green there from Joe Call. Well, let's go. One thing I like about not having the green machine badge is that because I've green two shots in a row, I'm good. Like, if you have the green machine badge, it's a guarantee that I miss the next white I shoot. But without the green machine badge, I mean, I can still technically hit a white. And if I am, um, as I hit that one there. That shot there, because I didn't green it. Maybe I would have greened the wick green machine. But that was a physically impossible shot to hit. If you white, if you green two in a row with green machine, and you white your third shot, you miss 100% of the time. There is no, um, there's nothing you can do about it. So not having that badge at the time. There are advantages to not having that badge. Although, you'd rather have it than not have it. It's also one of those badges where it's not the big... If you can green... If you can time perfectly every single time... The green machine badge is like almost pointless to have. At least from my understanding of the badge anyway. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay. That is a bit of a confusing move right there. It's open. No, it's not. And we bank it in. Let's go. Big shot by Colwell. Now he's got his slasher takeover. Again, he's like a he's like a borderline Dwayne Wade, a point guard, but he's a bit taller. Like he doesn't get Dean Wade or Dwayne Wade's defensive animations, and he's not quite as good as Dwayne Wade. But I mean, considering Wade's like three hundred k, and this card here is ten k, I would just jam it on him. Or I thought he was gonna lay that one in. I was good with that. Okay, we're good. Why? Why did you go there? 
That doesn't make sense. Why are you running away from being open? We missed that bait right there. That's a terrible shot. Has to be. Okay, my guys are just kind of allergic to rebounding right now. That's just weird animation. Green. There we go. Good shot there by Caldwell. I know it's only a two there, but Caldwell has made... He's made five shots in a row. Well, if you don't count him getting fouled. Great defense. Go left. Oh, ste step back. It's wide open. And that's a miss. Oh, it's about time. It's about time. We reckon he's six in a row. They're missing our first two. And that's great defense there by Caldwell. I don't know what version of LeBron that is, but still. It's our LeBron James. Hey, we're good. Is he pressuring up that high on me? Ah, oh, it's blinders. We need a blinders for that shot. Okay, come get him. Come get him. Come get him. Oh, it's open. And that is a complete sell, but he hit the white. All right, good shot. Good shot there, Joe Caldwell. He is like literally just mini Dwayne Wade. He's like slightly different Tom Van Ardell. And like I have Tom Van Ardell, so it's not me saying it's just because me saying, oh, uh, you get this card because I couldn't get Tom Van Ardell. No, like I literally have Tom Van Ardell, basically the same card. That's weird. You can't even say like, oh, there's such a big difference. Like it's different. like 98 and 99 overall. Is, there's no difference between them. It's one overall difference. His badges aren't the lead, but still. Oh, he just ran around two of them. He just ran around two of them for that dunk. It's good. They're clearly just trying to, uh, to steal. Nope. Dunk. All right. That's, that's not ideal. Can someone set my screen go middle? And could you not spam? And then 19 to 10, there's no need to spam. Split them. Can I? There we go. Mini. Green that. Game. Good shot. Good win right there. We are one win anyway. We are on the road. On the road to Richard Van Ardell. We just need to get into those last... We just need to get some wins in those last three ball drop games. And we will get our Richard Van Ardell. But, uh... Yeah, like... This card's fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic. Base 98. Like, what more can you ask for a player? For this cheap, what more can you ask for him? He's got absolutely everything you need for a... 10k MT player. He's got base 98. He's he's not tall for a point guard. Like 6'5 is not tall, but it's not unusably small. And it's not even unusably small at the two. Like you're seeing people you people saying Clay Thompson's fine at 6'6, Jordan's fine at 6'6. Look, he's an inch smaller. He's also got a better release. His handle's good. He dunks on everybody. He's an overall fantastic, fantastic player, and is definitely one of the most slept on players in this game. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.